Hey there. If you have chronic hives, you're probably looking for something to relieve the itch. And I've been there. I have had inducible hives since childhood and chronic spontaneous urticaria for over a decade. So I definitely feel this and I have tried a lot of different remedies for my hives. So in this video, I will share with you 15 natural solutions to help ease the itch of your hives. It's important to remember that we're all different and what helps some could actually make other symptoms worse. So it's really important that before you put something in the bath or slather all over your body, you're doing a patch test. So just put a little bit right here on the inside of your forearm and wait 12 to 24 hours to see if you have a reaction. The first one is apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar has been known to help relieve itch and calm inflammation. So a lot of people will put apple cider vinegar in a bath or you could just do cool compresses with apple cider vinegar diluted in water. Now some people also like to take apple cider vinegar internally, but if you do this, make sure that you are watering it down because it is really acidic, it can burn your throat. And honestly, I feel like it tastes like vomit. <laughs> some people add honey and they feel find that more palatable. Um, for me, I just stick with this topically. Next, we have baking soda, and baking soda is a great mast cell stabilizer, and it helps relieve the itch for a lot of people. And again, this is used in a bath, or you can also do compresses. Personally, I find that baking soda makes me a little bit more itchy, but as I said, we're all different, and a lot of people have had good results with putting baking soda in their bath. Number three is turmeric, and turmeric is a great natural anti-inflammatory and natural antihistamine. You can use this in the tea, or you can just use a lot more turmeric in your cooking. A lot of people apply it topically, but it will stain your skin. Turmeric is also a great natural NSAID alternative, so if you have pain, that can help reduce your pain, and you can get it in supplement form or take it as a tea. If you have an oxalate issue, like if you've had kidney stones in the past, you may wanna be cautious with this one because it is high in oxalates. Number four is oatmeal, and oatmeal is pretty classic. We've probably all heard that oatmeal is soothing to the skin. You can find oatmeal baths in the store. However, I would be careful about those. Just make sure that you're checking for any added fragrances because fragrances can make hives worse. So check the ingredients, but colloidal oatmeal does really well, or you can just use quick oats. And I like to put them in an old sock and just tie it off. And then that way you don't have oats floating around in your tub, but you're still getting the benefits of the soothing oatmeal. Now be careful if you use this in the bath because it will make the bathtub slippery. So that's just another caution to be aware of. Number five is mint. And mint is really soothing and cooling to the skin. So especially if he is a big trigger for you. I like, I'm a big fan of mint. I used to keep just a spray bottle with some water in it and a couple drops of peppermint essential oil at my desk at work and just shake it up and spray a little bit if I get too hot. It's really cooling and soothing. You can also put mint in your bath or you can drink it as a tea. Number six is ginger, and ginger is another great, both anti-inflammatory and natural antihistamine. And you can get this in a tea. You can make your own tea by boiling just a little piece of the ginger root. I like to do that. I also like to make ginger juice shots. So I will juice a bunch of ginger up and I'll put it in, you can get these little mini ice cube trays. So I'll pour it in there and freeze them. And then I always have fresh ginger ready to go. Number seven is nettle, and stinging nettle is another great antihistamine. So stinging nettle, you usually would drink as a tea. Some people do put it, you could boil up some tea and apply it topically once it's cooled. Number eight is holy basil or tulsi, and this is a great tea as well to help calm those mast cells, and it's, a, it's got antioxidants. It's a great anti-inflammatory, and it helps reduce stress. Number nine is witch hazel. Witch hazel is a herbal extract that comes from a shrub and it is also known to help relieve itching and reduce inflammation. It's high in tannins and that helps reduce swelling. So you can just put some on a cotton swab and apply it topically or you can add this to a bath. Number 10 is Epsom salt. A lot of people put Epsom salt in their bath to help relieve muscle pain and just to relax, but it can also be helpful in helping your hives. If you're not used to taking the Epsom salt bath, you might want to start out slowly. I put about a cup in my bath, but you might want to start with maybe a quarter cup and work your way up. 
Number 11 is aloe vera. And I'm sure we've all heard of this. Aloe vera is a classic to put on your sunburn to help relieve the itch and reduce the inflammation. And it can also work for hives in the same way. Be sure to check the ingredients if you're buying this over the counter. Watch out for fragrances because fragrances can make hives worse. Number 12 is tea tree oil. As a natural antiseptic and anti-inflammatory, tea tree oil is one of the most popular essential oils. And again, you want to dilute this first and do a patch test. Number 13 is coconut oil. And coconut oil not only is a great moisturizer, but it's a really good carrier oil if you're using those essential oils to dilute it because coconut oil also has natural anti-inflammatory properties and it's very soothing to the skin. Number 14 is a cool compress. So that's pretty classic. We apply cold to reduce inflammation. Now, obviously, if you have cold-induced hives, you won't be applying cold to your hives. But if it's not a trigger for you, give this one a try. It can help reduce inflammation. And if you have angioedema, it can help bring down the swelling as well. Number 15 is green tea. And again, it's a great natural antihistamine and anti-inflammatory. It's got lots of antioxidants. It's known for lots of different health benefits. So having a cup of green tea may be helpful. I really like to use cooled green tea bags just after you brew your tea. I like to cool them down, even put them in the fridge. And if I get angioedema around my eyes, it's really nice to just put that right there as a compress and that helps take down the swelling of course be careful not to get it in your eyes i hope this list was beneficial and that you find something to help relieve your hives keep in mind that we're all different and it might take some trial and error but you'll get there test these out one at a time to see what works for you and then after you're sure that you don't have any kind of reaction to them then you can start trying to experiment with combining different methods if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Take care.